You see, the number one thing with permission plugins is you actually have to study them and learn every single thing about it. Or else when you create a video, it just looks like a fool trying to explain to everybody how everything works. And so Tech recently gave me this over. He said for me to do a video on it, right? Thanks to one of my staff members, Slip, we actually learned it. And I'm just going to say one thing. Messing on a GUI with permission system is so simple. And and I want to be honest with one thing. My favorite part in this whole entire thing would be connecting to the MySQL database, which is the most simplest database that I've ever connected in my life with this plugin. So hey guys, how's it going? Diamond here. And today I'm going to be explaining to you guys Ultra Permissions. It is literally a really cool, slick, slim, and straightforward plugin that allows you to add permissions to your players. It has a lot more configuration than PEX, World Guard. It is standing right by lock perms and the only difference i could say about it would be the amazing gui system it has it is just incredible you can pick it up in a snap i'm gonna show you guys for everything you really need there was a giveaway happened over my discord whoever didn't join just missed it out this is why i'm saying join my discord for the giveaways he gave away two copies and it's just straight up amazing i'm gonna be showing you guys how to use and set up ultra permissions right now so first of all you're gonna need to know a few things such as you're gonna have to go over to your console so this is what happens when i allow players to join the same server i'm in all right so i'm gonna leave the game in command but you're supposed to do this if it's new over at your console so meaning if you're opt or not it is not gonna work you need to be added as a super admin and the way you do that add in console upc add a super admin and then you would need to add your name so as soon as that happens i have been added which is super simple and that means now i can do you perms and i get this gui rolling so here you can have two simple options which is user it'll show all the current users that are online you can show offline users you can go back or you can search users and then you can come over here to groups and here you have all your groups you can change the order add one go back and simply just do anything related to that now we can have now we can do some additional stuff if you click here to expand it you get a few more options you have permission log this will show you all the permission logs everything that is passing through and this is pretty much everything allowed by the operator and such the time results and pretty much every single thing that is just working perfectly so here you have the my scale if you wanted to connect it to my scale you can enable it and then here you can just add a host port and you would do this all in game i'm not going to hook up one because it's a video purposes only and we're only going to need one single server you could hook up to multiple servers though which is frankly amazing so after that all you have to do is click visual settings and here you can set change a few things so you have the chat and you can also change the tablet so this will pretty much change your player's name and everything for certain users or for certain groups which is really nice even a chat you can edit which is all in one plugin that's really nice so you wouldn't need a chat plugin at all so what we can do is just go ahead and start creating our first group so we can go ahead and add a group and we're gonna need a name for this group so we're gonna go ahead and name it owner for this one what we can do is go ahead and click on it and here we can change a few things as it we can inherit from another group we can make it as a default we can view the permissions for it we can edit the suffix and the prefix delete the group we can rename it change the icon and what it's referring to is this here you can change it so say if i want a diamond for it i can go ahead and change it as a diamond you can go ahead and use it manually using item ids but i believe there is at least a diamond in here here we go so now if i go back as you can see it's a diamond and what we got to do is simply just go ahead and add some permissions to it now for owner i'm just gonna go ahead and give star because that is the basic permission that you need for owners so now if you go back check all the permissions as you can see i have start meaning i will get every single one of the permissions but i'm not owner because i haven't been added to the group now the way i can be added to the group is just go ahead and click on myself and go into groups and just go ahead and add myself to a group it's all you can add you can add hours to it meaning i can only be an owner for like an hour or so or i can just click confirm and it's super simple like that you can add minutes hours seconds really up to you days weeks months it's really configurable i like that so as you can see now i'm a owner so now if i type in chat you can see owner right there which i am owner you can change that by the way so if i go ahead and do uperms again and go to owners i can go ahead and edit the prefix so i can go and do owner and make that a red instead and so if i type in chat hello you even notice that it's ultra permissions really nice and as you see i am owner in red right there so it gives me a prefix without even needing it and you can change it to however you want to i can go ahead and do in all caps all right i can actually do that so i'm gonna go ahead and change it to like this 
Does that actually work? Name? I don't believe that works. Okay, yeah, name doesn't work, but if we just add owner, that should work just perfectly fine. And meaning, I can also add a suffix to me if I wanted to. So I could go ahead and put another suffix. So let's go for VPM, which is one of my groups. So if I go ahead and make this one, I could change a color for it as well. So I can make this white. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is change a few things in visual settings though. So we can have the chat and we can set the format and here it'll give you every single thing prefixes names every single thing and so the default is right now like this so what we can do is do prefixes player and message so say if i don't like the default one that's happening right now i can go ahead and change it to let's go for a just simple seven and then here you can get a white message because i don't like the little color that's right here the blue so i can just change that simply doing that and even a tablet second change so but there's one key thing that i do want to change is for example right now it doesn't show my current suffix so what i can do is just go ahead and add suffix right here because i did add a suffix so now if i type hello there we go it will show my suffix maybe add a bit of space because that would actually look good so there you go it will show my current suffix right there so that's really nice and i like that feature because you can change quite a lot from it and we can go ahead and do even more. So, if we go into groups, we can go ahead and add a group. Now we're gonna add default, so we can just call it default. And we can change it as well. So let's change this into a simple grass block. You know, I'll take it as a shard. Shard doesn't look that bad. And we can use it as a default group. So whoever joins the server is gonna get this group by default. We can view the permissions, so we can give them a permission such as there even comes a few permissions already like in place so plugins that it does recognize so i can give them permissions such as essentials where is it i can give them essentials and then i can give them a there is quite a lot i don't even know what to give let's give um you know since i can't find exactly what i'm looking for we can type it in chat so if we do essentials dot fly meaning whoever is a default player would give the permission to be to be flying around we can add more of course it's not limited to the gui i'll go to the next page as well i can give them some world edit i'll allow them to you fix lava and then in here if you actually go into the options you can edit the permission so say if it's not the correct one you can add the time that you can actually use it so say if you want to only want them to use it for an hour so this would be great if they want to buy certain perks on a store you can copy it and target and target it to someone else. So if you wanted to add it to a different group, and then you can also select the world. And then this will be red because we don't have it for certain servers yet. But once the bungee mode is enabled, you can add it to certain servers as well. So if you don't want it on this server and you want a different server, you can add it. Or if you only want it on this server and not the other server, you can also add it. And then here you can just change the permission from positive to negative. So say if I don't want them to, they don't have the permission whatsoever. And that is super simple like that. Nice, fancy GUI like so. And we can also even change their prefix. So I'm going to go ahead and change their prefix to default and their suffix to, I'm going to keep it BPM as well. So I'm going to go ahead and change all of those. I'm going to make sure there's still a space between them. Now, as you can see, he's talking, but nothing's really happening. Now, the reason is because that is because I only enabled defaults as soon as a player joins. He's already on the server. So that means I just come over here and add him to a group, which is super simple like that. So we have owner and then we have default. Just got to add him to the default group and try now. And there you go. So he has default, his his prefix, his suffix, and the way he chats. Very nice. I like that indeed. All in a single plugin. That's amazing. We can even change the order right here. So if I want owner to be ahead, so all I gotta do is just right click him. So he'll have two, meaning he'll just be in front. And there we go. So now he is leading. That's it. it. It doesn't change much. It's just something that keeps your mind organized. I can add another group so I can go for VIP and we can make VIP a different item as well. So we can change its icon so let's go ahead and make it prismian crystals and we can inherit so meaning it will inherit from default and we can inherit permissions from de default meaning if they have flight vip will have flight super simple like that so as you can see right here now i can go ahead and change it as well so i can change the prefix from default vip and give him a nice green and we can go ahead and go over to him and just change his group we can go ahead and we can keep him here it doesn't really matter and we can go ahead and just add vip all right so let's just go ahead and give him vip now we, all we gotta do is remove default since he's already inheriting it and go ahead and talk so now if he talks as you can see he has the vip role it's super super simple i like it 
a lot. It's amazing. And you can change, I'm also gonna change the tablets because that's a really good thing to show right now. So if I go into him, I can actually just go ahead and edit his only. So I can edit his prefix and go ahead and give him a nice VIP. You can add it to certain groups as well, really up to you. And I'm gonna go ahead and add him a nice green VIP tag. So as you can see in chat, it shows lovely. And I also have mine, which looks great. And these are just simple features that you can add throughout your server that just makes it look unique. And it's not gonna be heavy on your server at all because it's all from one single plugin that you can do all of this. It's really nice and configurable. So if you wanted to, you could also delete the group, super simple like that. And yeah, now say if I didn't want them to have it, all I can do is just right click it or click Q for to reset it or disable it completely. Meaning, so meaning it will just either reset or just completely reset or just disable it completely. Now we can add more things as well, such as we can add a person to a group using commands. So if we do UPC add group and then the player name, and then after that, the group name, so VIP, and then we can also add a time for it. So it would be three hours or a day or anything like that. We can do it in, in commands as well. But the feature that I like here the most would be the GUI. Everything you can do in GUI, you can also do in commands. So you can remove certain player permissions as well. It also has placeholders, which is really nice. And say if you do want to, you can remove, you can transfer every single one of your permissions from a file to MySQL. So you can do UPC transfer, and that will transfer from MySQL to flat or flat to MySQL. Meaning you don't have to be running a network, or if you just want to run a single server. And say if you want to change in the future, you can. It's really up to you, which is really nice that I like about this about this plugin. It's highly configurable and I really recommend you guys go ahead into the link and check it out. It's amazing. I love it and so far I it's just been perfection. I try it out for myself for a couple days so I can actually learn it and here we are. So what I want you guys go go grab it for yourselves and start your servers with a perfect and great permission plugin like this one. So check it out. Everything is going to be in the link in the description down below. Thanks G for popping in the video and completely just bombing it. So other than that, I'm Diamond, he's G, and I'm going to go kill him. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.